What's up, guys? Tom Hawk here. Tomorrow, I'm playing some more Minecraft Vile games. We're playing on SG2. Let's go ahead and get at this. Half a Paro is trying to fist me to death, but it doesn't even matter because I just run away and then I'll get my stuff on my route and then we're going to be happy and happy things. So, I have quite a few things I'd like to talk about today. Well, yeah. So, uh, if you guys noticed when you clicked on this video, before you clicked on, or after you clicked on this video, if you press stop download, that there is a completely different uh, thumbnail than usual. So, you, you people must be wondering what's so special about this video. Well, actually, nothing quite special in the the most, besides the fact that I'm getting uh, new intros now, well, not intros, uh, new thumbnails now, because uh, a lovely person by the name of Elliot's Graphics decided to contact me on Skype, he's like, hey man, uh, I decided, you know, like, you want some, like, uh, animation things that done on your channel, and I was like, yeah, sure, and he's like, yeah, I'll make you, uh, um, in uh, for why do I keep saying intro now, I I'll make you thumbnails, and I'm like, oh, shoot, sweet, what do you want, money, fame, power, nuclear weapons, uh, money? Uh, I think I might already send that a shout out maybe like and he's not like no I just want credit for the fact that I've done my work I was like very very respectable offer my friend and basically what he uh, I said after that or yeah so he's just like yeah I'll make you one uh, just have to tell me a little bit about the video and then I'll make one off of that and you could obviously know it's about off of this video so link in it uh, basically links to pretty much in all future videos will be linked to his channel and his website in the description his current channel anyway uh, he told me that he was gonna be making a new channel uh, in, a, in, in the future because his current one he's not quite active with it and is on his new one he's gonna put like animations and stuff on it and I was like whatever that sounds cool and that will be that and uh, basically, uh, I'll, I'll pretty much uh, update the link in the description to his new channel once that's out. I probably won't uh, do it to this video in particular, but new videos will basically be like that. So in a, an update to my sickness, I'm still sick. I'm actually starting to develop a stuffy nose, so it uh, kind of sucks. But um, I, I guess I'm feeling mentally better. Like I wasn't, as, I'm not as weak to like drag myself around the entire world like that as I was before. So that is a plus side to my health, I guess. Not really, but whatever. Heaven Paro better not have a weapon, or else I will be quite angry with myself. Yes, he does have a weapon. So basically, we're gonna go right here, and hopefully that's just kidding. We're gonna attack him. Yeah, Heaven, you're gonna die. I don't even care. You you may have tons of wins, and you are a no life at the game. But I am somewhat more skilled at you if I could just manage it. Eh. Oh, yeah, we're going to run away. Um, so, uh, it, another thing that we're going to talk about is basically um, the thing that, well, is the title of this video. Can't block it without sword. No, it's not a sword, but, okay. So I was having this uh, conversation with my buddies, uh, Shane, Thomas, and a couple other dudes, and we're talking about superpowers, and basically Shane brought it up this one funny, funny thing. He's just like, you know what, it would be funny if you had the ability to make, have a specific word, like, uh, let's just say the word pickles or whatever, and you can use it to, you know, it makes, whenever say you say that word, everyone in the vicinity of that word, you know, whoever can hear it, is just like a fancy way of saying that, have, like orgasms, right? I could just think of that being used in so many, so many funny ways. Like, one example would be, you know, that classic uh, cliche, you know, um, I don't know, thief is like, he stole candy from a baby, or, you know, he stole a purse from a lady, and the lady's like, help, help, I'm trying to voice crack on purpose to make this funnier. <laughs> Anyways, they're like, she's like, help, help, and I'm like, I'll save you, and then a guy with like pink spandex runs in, and he has like a, 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 cape on that has a giant O on it and he's just like stop that evil doer and he's like what are you gonna do to me and he's like well that is quite a funny thing sir basically I have this superpower where every time I say pickles some strange things happen to you and then just the guy's just like oh and he's like melts into his pants and he's just like okay sir you can have the baby back because I do not want to have to deal with that that um thing that happens every time you say pickles and it's very disgusting and it just makes ugh, I'm, just, I'm just leaving okay and then he's like there's your purse madam and then, then the girl's still uh, the girl's in the city of the word too so she's still like you know hazed from it and um that basically she gets her purse back she's like hey, thank you and um i could just uh uh, oh yeah, for those of you who do not know what the word orgasm means, you know, you guys shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't, uh, here's, here's a couple things you shouldn't do. Don't ask your parents, don't Google it, ask one of your friends, that's what you should do. Because if you Google it, some naughty things will come up and you will probably stain your search history until you clear it. So, don't do that. 
And basically, if you tell your parents, well, your parents can be like, where the hell did you hear that word? And be like, oh, Tomahawk said it. He's the guy on the internet. And he's like, don't you dare say that word to me. Or it's like, now you're grounded from the internet for a week, young man or young man. And we be like, oh, I'm sorry, mom. And then you can't watch my videos anymore. And that's going to be sad for all of us, all right? We, this, this is a, a shared experience. You love watching my videos, and I love seeing those pretty damn entertaining comments. So, um... That, so don't do that, and yeah, and then we had another variation of, uh, you know, that, um, what do you call it, that superpower, and instead of, you know, making people orgasm every time you say that sound, instead what happens is you make, um, I, I can't even think right now, thinking, 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 processing information like a boss is, uh, all right, every time, it's like that brown noise, right, if you ever uh, think uh, to what the brown noise is, if you don't know what it is, uh, Mythbusters did a test on it, it's supposed to be the frequency, or in this case, a word that makes people poop their pants, right? And uh, basically, uh, the way it works is, you know, they tested it on Mythbusters. It turns out it doesn't exist. They tried out every single frequency there was, and they were super sad because they didn't make people poop their pants, and that couldn't be a, a thing used in war in the future, I guess. So, um, continuing on with what I'm saying. So, like, like, let's just say a hypothetical, right? You're the president of the United States, and you don't say pickles the entire time you're campaigning because you don't want to literally be a shitty, see what I did there, uh, presidential can candidate by making everyone who listens to the word pickles whenever you say it poop their pants but it's like i'm going to use this as a diabolical scheme to make very funny things to happen so you know, you're uh you know you get your president you do your inauguration and then you do like a state of the union address or whatever you're like talking to the entire country so uh, let's just say like five hundred thousand people no that's no, probably more than that probably like two million people are watching you throughout the world let me just cough really quick i'm just once again i'm sick sorry about this <coughs> all right continuing um uh, you know you're saying okay as a nation we must continue to eat pickles and you like put that emphasis on it and just everyone in the press room everyone around the world just poops their pants at the exact same time and they just all run to their bathrooms and they're just like oh and then basically everyone flushes their toilet at the exact same time throughout the world thus flooding the world into a, uh, an incomplete uh, in, uh basically a place covered in complete toilet paper as everyone knows that if nine hundred thousand people or more uh all flush the toilet at the exact same time it causes worldwide flooding as well as toilet paper to roam around the streets of the entire planet and very funny things to happen sorry uh twist you're gonna die and i'm probably gonna cough again <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> sickness you know oh that just actually made my eyes water i've been trying to uh, record this for about a half an hour or so now and um i think I, you guys basically just got to hear firsthand me losing my voice I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like this for the rest of the video. That kind of sucks. Oh, it sucks. It hurts me, me to make that sound with myself right now. Ow. We're going to, you know, oh wait, why does he have diamonds on the floor? Probably forgot. And ow, 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 ow. All right. Let's go uh, twist really quick. He's my friend. But, you know, for the sake of this video, you're going to have to die. Please don't kill me. I don't want to do this again. Uh, no, please. 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 Oh, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Since the server lag is in my favor. And, nope. He can't. I can't do it. But, uh, just run away. Okay. Maybe I'll be, be able to use this tactic now. I really hope I'll be able to use this tactic. Twist doesn't know this tactic. So, we're going to make it happen. We are going to run away and we're going to make it happen. All right. Uh, I guess we should get back to the topic I was talking about, right? So, uh... Going back to superpower, like a superpower that I would want to have is the most, actually no, before that we're going to talk about superpowers that I've uh, encountered, like when I ask people what, what they want their superpower to be and have the pairs attack me from the other side, please help me uh, twist, that would be the greatest thing in the world. Tomohak Tame. <laughs> right. I forgot. Uh, so I ask people, uh, what I, when I ask people what they uh like what their superpower is, is I, I'll ask girls because you know asking girls what they want their superpower to be is super awesome, or I guess right, uh, and they'll be like nine times out of ten they'll say uh, they want to be able to read minds, and I always think to myself why would you want to read minds? There are such better things than being able to read minds, and the reasoning is like I want to know what people are thinking about me. I want to be able to do that, and I'm just like that would be the worst case of self consciousness like insecurity that you could have because I know at least. Why well, once in your life you have thought of someone and then said a um, a comment in your head that was quite rude to them, whether you were joking about it or not, or like you regretted saying it in your head, is up to you. But I know I've had I've had those thoughts in my head, and I would not like to sell that say that out loud or for these people to ever know that I ever said that. And basically, you know, I I'd say I have these thoughts, you know, more than once a day. 
and if like the person who I was thinking had the ability to read my mind and find out that like I was actually thinking that, I would feel terrible, and I just pretty much lowered their sense of security, and my voice is beginning to go back again. Let me just hit cough really quick. <coughs> All right. So that's why I think it's bad. And then I, I guess it, it goes both ways because like people, you know, if someone like likes you, likes you. Uh, and you don't know it for sure, like, you can just read their mind, just like, I love Tomahawk so much, he's the hottest guy in the world, and then, you know, you could have, a, like, a little bit more confidence when you do so, but I think the, uh, you know, the out, the badness overweighs the pros, that's just my opinion, you could have whatever opinion you want, but you must people, you people must be worried, wondering, Tomahawk, what's your favorite superpower, and why is your voice going your way? Well, I could answer one of those, well, actually, I could answer both of those. First, answer to the second one, I'm sick. Uh, answer to the first one, the superpower I would want is telekinesis, and I'll give you quite a few reasons why. Well, actually, uh, I've always loved the thought of telekinesis. I think that it's super awesome to be able to move things with your mind, and I always thought the limitation of that, you know, you could just move whatever objects with your mind that you want. But I think the movie that made it even cooler for me, in my opinion anyways, was the movie Chronicle, and the reason for that being is, oh my god, why is it, like, my voice is going back in and out, in and out, I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, the reason for that being is the movie Chronicle took it to the next level. I, like, they got their superpowers from, like, whatever weird thing it was. And, uh, let me see. And what happened is, you know, after quite a while... Oh my god, he's Epipero! Screw it, take, just take your time. Uh-uh, uh-uh, Epipero, you're done. We're, we're taking you out right now, I don't even care. And you're probably gonna try to light me on fire again, don't even care. Because, you know, YOLO swaggins and stuff. Alright, um... Now he's probably gonna come back and try to kill me in a sec. Uh, man, I completely lose my train of thought when I'm super into a battle. Uh, I, I usually can actually talk when I'm doing a battle, but not this time, seeing as I'm sick. So, uh, I'm just gonna continue with whatever I was saying before. So, uh, telekinesis, like, Chronicle took it to the next level because they got the powers from the thingy. But they also made it kind of like, uh, telekinetics, where they could, um, sense when each other is in danger. So, like, whenever, like, something bad happens, they get nosebleeds, which means, like, one of the, their friend, like, one of them is in trouble or whatever. That's uh, what happened in, in the movie. And I thought when they, like, there's this, this is probably my favorite scene from the movie, is when they, or I actually have two favorite scenes in the movie. This, the, my, the one scene where they are basically, um, come at me, hack, what? Is, uh, when there's the talent show. And what happens is, you know, uh, I think the main character, he goes into the talent show because he has his, you know, superpower, and he's going to make it look like it's not superpower, it's just all talent and stuff. So what he does, like, he, he's going to do a magic card trick, you know, like one of those stupid things. And I'm like, oh, this is probably going to be one of those, like, this is going to be stupid. Turns out he made it super awesome. So, like, he has, like, the def deck of cards out, and then he pretend trips and drops all the cards on the floor. He's like, oh, damn it. And then what he does is he stands up, and then he uses his telekinetic powers to, like, stack all the cards back into his hand, and then he starts doing, like, all these magic tricks with, like, these, uh juggling balls and makes him do the type of and stuff with all his te telekinetic powers and i thought man that is freaking amazing and that's that that's what made me love that and then the, my second like favorite scene actually they're probably tied for the same thing is when they discover that they can fly when i i, I can't believe i never thought of this with telekinesis before because you know you can move things with your mind you could also technically move yourself with your mind seeing as it's probably less than some things that you would lift with your mind and like they they, they kind of like learn how to fly like for a little bit and then they start having fun in the air and i was like that looks like the most amazing thing in the world that i could possibly have ever and that is pretty much what induced my love of telekinesis. Like I like when I'm bored at night and I can't like I'm trying to fall asleep or whatever, I'll have like literally just like thought sequences where I'm like, hmm, what would happen if like you know I'm after school and someone's like, hey, can you give me a ride home? I'm like, oh man, I don't have my driver's license. It's like, oh, awesome, man, I'll get a ride somewhere else. And I'm like, just kidding, I have telekinesis. And basically, you know, you and your friend fly them back to their house. I don't know. That's 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 one of the things that I have all the time. Or like you're in class and someone's like, can you pass the pencil, please? Sure, I'll pass the pencil with my mind. I don't know, it's just one of those weird cliche things that would just be quite awesome, in my opinion, anyway. So that's uh, why I like, t I like telekinesis. Uh, another, probably, uh, superpower that I would want is the power of invisibility. Uh, mostly be for eavesdropping reasons, but... No, the power of invisibility. I, I think uh, what, what comes along with the power of invisibility, let's just say it comes with the power pa pa the pa whatever, I can't make words with my mouth right now, um, to be tangible, which means, like, you know, you could go through walls and stuff, and I, I think that one's cool, too, because, like, you're trying to get into, like, a building or whatever, and you're like, damn it, the store's closed, or the store's about to close, and the door's locked, or, like, you lose your keys to your car, or, like, you lock your keys inside your car, right? You go inside your car, and, uh, wait, wait, give me a second, I gotta cough again, sorry, guys. 
you're like, oh, I just I could just telekinesis in there and it'd be good. And then you're like, yeah, I don't need to you know go to the locksmith and have him open my car for me, or I don't have to do some Mexican thing and break into my own car or whatever. And ten, and then basically you know the the other side with invisibility, you know, you could just do whatever you want. Insert creepy thing here, you know, you could go into like a girl's locker room and just creep on them all day. You could uh you know go into your like you could haunt people pretty much. That'd be funny. You like cover yourself with like a a sheet, uh, like like one of those classic ghost things. You're like, ooh, I'm a ghost, or something really stupid like that. And you're like, nah, just kidding. I have the power to go invisible, and you have a like nice little laugh with your friends all day, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, what what other superpowers would I like to have? A superpower I would like to have is I wouldn't say okay, actually, I was about to say uh, super intelligence, but I realized that would suck because if you had super intelligence, everyone else would seem so stupid except for yourself. And that kind of, like, like you basically goes without saying, Jesus Christ, do you have better sprint, Hefe? Jesus Christ, Hefe! Hefe! No pulse, I fan! Hefe! Oh my goodness, just run away. And super intelligent would suck, because, like, everyone else would seem really stupid to you, and I don't think you could actually have contact with the rest of the world. Sure, you could, like, solve all the world's diseases, or, you know, actually solve all the world's diseases, cure all the world's diseases, my bad. You are just trying to shoot me with arrows and just dodge them really quick. Please don't kill me, Hefe. Not like this. Not like this. Don't, not in the face. Not in the face, Hefe. Just eat that, and hopefully I'll regenerate to be able to deal with one more arrow. And he misses. Good. Continue. Come at me, hacker. What? Why is he calling me? Oh, I get it, because my name is friends with Tama. Uh, to like, Tomahawk. Tomahawk sounds like Tomahawk, and then he calls me hacker. I get it, Hefe. Uh, whatever. So, super intelligence sucks. And, yeah. I mean, you know what? I want to be able to have the ability to have notice in real life. Like, you could imagine just someone standing around. Like, can you imagine if you had, like, sprint particles in real life like you do in um, Minecraft? <coughs> and, like, you have, like, real life notice. Like, how do you have particles on right now? Oh, you know, I'm just sprinting in place. Is that what, like, the definition of sprinting in place is? You have particles in your feet? I don't know. That would be quite funny. In the world, like, too. Like, I think I think if you have notice, you could, like, easily get out of a fight. You know, you have, like, a force field on or whatever. And you're just like, oh, yeah, I'm just, let me just turn on my force field so you guys cannot uh, can't touch this literally and just like you can instantly hit someone behind you or whatever uh while you're hitting someone in front of you and you can have like aimbot like you do in video games and i don't know it would be pretty cool to have that in real life but don't use it in the game because that's cheating if you have it in real life i don't care because i'm not the uh i'm not a mod of the the real world i'm a mod of mcsg so if that makes any sense uh another thing let's see what else you can notice you could like you could have like a radar in your top right hand corner in the real world yeah it'd be cool if like, you've had an, a heads up display and, oh that reminds me so I saw Google uh, Glass was going to, uh, like, some, like, it was going to beta testing, and I saw, you know, like, back in the, uh, with the trailer and stuff, that has, like, a heads-up display in your corner of your vision and stuff. That would basically be, like, video games in real life. You have a heads-up display on your real self. Like, you can look over there, and you're like, bring up time. Call this person. And it sh it's just, it would be really weird. How they, I don't know how they managed to, like, get the gestures with the eyes all perfect and stuff, but then again, it's made by Google, so. Google makes everything amazing. Like, there's Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer sucked. Then Google came, did Google uh, Google Chrome, and they're like, damn, Google Chrome's amazing. Search engine sucks. I don't, I don't remember, like, there's the uh, AOL search engine, like, way, way back. And then Google came out, and it was like, damn, Google's amazing. And then, like, Google, the only thing Google has ever done wrong was Google Hangouts. I, they've mastered pretty much every other form of thing that they've done. Google Hangout, or wait, did I say Google Hangouts? I meant Google Plus. Google Hangout is works too, because uh, I've used Google Hangouts in the past, and they're quite amazing. Hopefully, Hefe didn't steal this, and hopefully, he's not going to lock me in here. Maybe I should crouch. That would be a better. Actually, I can't go down the thing when I crouch. Please didn't take the stuff. Sweet. Okay, I'll take you, take you, take you. I'll just take all this crap. Why not? And just take that. Put, oh, whoops. I almost caught myself on fire. Actually, it was on fire for quite like half a second. It was really weird. Put that on. Put that on. Okay, I need legs and a helmet. All right. Helmet. I don't need. Okay, I can make a diamond sword. Just take those arrows out. I have a flint and steel. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take out Hefe. Hefe is going to be my number one nemesis for the sake of this game. Uh, is there anything else I need to put on? Oh, is there any lesser pants that I can put on? Oh yeah, there's lesser pants I can put on. I bet someone was yelling at me, like, Tomahawk, you left the pants. Nope, got these ones. Uh, nothing better. Nothing better. Uh, I guess I can get chain pants. I think, do they do? I know, let's see how it, how it is. Is it better? Yes, it's better. Okay, pant, chain pants do better than gold pants, but chain chest plate doesn't do better than gold chest plate. I need to get my, that right in my head. That's the one piece of armor thing that I can never remember. Everything else is pretty much solid in my head. All right, let's go run over here and jump, biggie, jump, jump, jump all the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, Convid sponsored me something. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. I'm appreciative. I don't know what that's from. Uh, Thomas told me that a while back, and I've apparently said it now. Diamond sword shine bright like a diamond. That oh yeah, if for those people who uh, like Tomako, you ever gonna stop doing with a shine like a bright uh, like shine bright like a diamond jokes? No, I'm never going to give those up. I'm never going to let them down. I'm never gonna turn around and let them desert me because I'm never gonna tell a lie. I'm never gonna say goodbye. I'm never gonna something. And yeah, it's just basically, I'm, I'm never gonna Rick Ashley, them, because Rick Ashley is the most amazing singer in the world. Uh, yeah, it's just you know, eh, cooked chicken. Om, nom, 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 nom. Let me just put this there and that there. All right, continue running and most. Okay, ten minutes until that match. Let's see if I can make this work. All right. <coughs> Dang it! Why does my sickness have to be good? You guys are lucky I'm making videos when I'm sick, because uh, most of the time, most YouTubers who are sick, they would not put up with their sickness to make a YouTube video for, for the sake of their own health. But for me, haha, I don't care about my health, all I do is care about my fans, less than three mother truckers. Uh, Shane used to say, like, you, you're so mean to your fans, and I was like, no, I'm not, I like my fans. It's like, you never say it, well, apparently, like, I, I guess I don't, I, I don't know, but you guys know I love you guys, I love you all, each and every individual one of you. Yeah, you, wearing that black shirt has uh, some white writing on it. Yeah, you're my favorite. Just kidding. You're not my favorite. I love you all equally. Except Furry. You're the best. Shoot piece, your second place. Devin, you know. Oh, for those people who didn't know, uh, Devin told me this and I thought it was quite, quite funny. Before Devin actually had a YouTube channel, he was a fanboy of me. And I thought, that's really funny because, uh, let me just cough again. <coughs> before um, Devin, uh, crap, I'm trying to make words with my mouth. Right, before he made his channel, he was uh, he watched my videos and stuff, and it made me really flattering because uh, you know a guy who apparently has more, who has more subscribers than me now, you know more average video views than me, uh, and has, is a good friend of me now. Actually, used to be a fan of mine, and I think that's kind of funny. I don't know. Oh, uh, whoa, super lag for a second. That was weird. Oh, it's Hefepero. We, we spot, okay, here we go. We spot the Hefepero in his wild habitat, which is the Cornucopia. He does not see us approaching. We get very close, and then we attack! Oh my god, no! Holy shit, Hefe, how do you do that? Whoa, whoa, okay, thanks for just lagging me back really quick. Jesus Christ, does this guy have like a computer of a... No, because I have a computer of a saint. Well, actually, my computer is actually quite lagged down by Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders, but doesn't even matter because it's for the sake of the video, not for the sake of the quality of my gameplay, because, all right, let's see. Um, can I shoot arrows at him? No, that's probably not going to be a wise move. He's going to try to shoot arrows at me and go just with double third person. I can avoid those arrows. Right, he's going to come after me. Uh, what's my health at? I could, could have, should have made some uh, golden apples before doing this, right? I want to go into full health with, before going into this battle seeing as he has more armor than me i need to light him on fire shoot him with arrows and we'll be good this guy is at either at equal or higher level than me at the game so we're gonna have to be quite skilled when we do this all right we just need to regenerate one more heart and we're gonna go ahead oh my goodness nope uh he's gonna shoot me with arrows instead he doesn't know that i'm actually quite high at hearts so we're gonna pretend all right at worst case scenario i have this ender pearl and i can escape like that i'm gonna turn around like this because he doesn't know what he's doing see he's just on the other side he's like damn it why'd you go the other way all right um health is at almost full we're gonna go at him right now he's gonna try to shoot me with another arrow not gonna happen let's go into this battle right now all right he's on fire he's on fire good 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 oh crap why did i pull that out all right eh. all right yo, can we take him out yes we gotta have a paro have a paro has taken a turn for the worst he's exploded 72 points for killing have a gg man yeah you are a good player at this game even though you like to betray people i know you don't betray people anymore but whatever oh my good that was probably one of the most intense fights that i fought all week and i've managed to win all right, uh, let's just go put, uh, I guess we're going to build some arrows, even though I have over a stack of arrows. No, I don't. Never mind. Have a pair has left the game. That is a rage quit. We have a confirmed rage quit on the player. Have a pair voice is disappearing again, but don't worry. It'll be back as soon as I'm done with my sickness or maybe my sickness will go away soon, but yeah. Oh, thing I want to talk about. Um, let me just cough really quick. I was uh, looking up uh, online, and it um, turns out that uh, VidCon, uh, every year, it, I think it's uh, the fourth annual one this year, every year it takes place in uh, Anaheim, except for the first year, I think it took place in Hollywood. And Anaheim is actually like a half an hour away from my, where I live. So those of you who are going to VidCon, I'm probably going to convince uh, me and a couple of friends, I'm probably going to get Shubis to go, to actually go to VidCon. And maybe, uh, you know, if you guys are going, uh, basically, I'll probably, you know, if you'll probably recognize this face by then if you've never seen my face it's a 2k subscriber video uh there's a, there's a video like it has my face in it so and my goal of vidcon is to run into at least one fan if i want if i run into one fan 
my whole entire experience at VidCon will be complete. If you guys don't know what VidCon is, it's basically an event that happens every year, sometime in August, and basically what happens is a Basically, all of YouTube shows up, and they do, like, different events and stuff, and different people perform or whatever, and I looked at last year's stuff, and I look at, what, with like, who's going to show up to this year's, and I'm like, this is going to be a fun time, and I know, uh, at least, I, I tweeted about it that I was actually going to go, since it's only, like, half an hour away from where I live, uh, some person tweeted back that, yeah, they're going, and they live four hours away, so I, I know, I know fans are going, but I don't know if I'm going to run into fans, so keep an eye out for me, if you are going, leave a comment if you're going, tweet at me if you're going, but... You know, maybe, like, if, if I'm at a certain place at a certain time, you just, like, come meet me at this place, and then probably, like, two people will show up, and they'll be like, oh, gee, it's that one Tom Hawk, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, Devin's moving out to L.A. soon, so hopefully, uh, well, actually, he's moving to L.A. really soon, and hopefully he's going to be going to uh, VidCon as well, because uh, that would be sweet. We could have me, Shmoopies, and Devin there all in real life, and then we could do a vlog together, and we could take pictures, and everyone will be like, oh my dude, goodness, it's all them. And then what we could do is we could all run up to, uh, I don't know if Joey Graceffa is going to be there, We're gonna, I'll go up to him and then be at his booth, it's like, what's up, you remember us? Uh, he probably will remember me and uh, Devin, but I don't know about Shmoopies, because he was only in one game, and he didn't actually upload that game, so let's keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, there's obviously no one around, I'm just running around corner, I'm sorry, I'm not entertaining, I'm just probably just, I'm trying to wait out uh, the game till deathmatch so I could just kill everyone. Alright, run over here, and, um, I don't know, we already went to pick house, so, uh, I have an ender pearl, what should we do with it? I have no idea. Oh, can you imagine if you had the ability to end, oh, oh my gosh, another superpower, I completely forgot, the ability to jump. If you ever seen the movie Jumper, awesome movie, it's like a take on teleportation. I honestly would love that superpower can you imagine that you're like you know what i feel like going to paris today oh look i'm at paris oh i feel like going to hmm i want to go to mars you like put on like a little space suit it's like yep i was the first man on the mars and no one even knows it because i just decided to teleport there or something really stupid like this oh i'm on fire what, what i'm on fire Ew, that's not nice all right take that take that just take that. pretty much up. see if i can make something out of diamonds uh take uh, nope, nothing good. Actually, I could probably get that iron. Wait, uh, wasn't there iron in one of these? Oh, wait, I already took it out of my chest. Never mind. Alright, just cough again. <coughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh, golden apples. Can't forget the golden apples. Bread. What? Why is... God! Every time... And the fire likes to glitch out, apparently. Uh, nothing good in there. Fire, diamond sword apparently likes to go up there. Get that flint and steel, why not, just even more of that, fire, or uh, golden apple, alright, so there's no diamonds here, might as well go to uh, pig house, get the last of the diamonds, prepare for deathmatch, which should be in like two minutes, and it'll be super awesome, this is actually one of my longer commentaries, uh, tell me guys if you prefer longer commentaries or shorter commentaries, honestly, the games are going to be the the length, depending on how long it takes me to kill everyone, no matter what, so you're not actually, your, your, your say doesn't actually matter much, I just want to know what people like more, so I could be like, hey, this video is going to be awesome because it's longer than all the esters. This video is going to be awesome because it shows me killing everyone in five seconds or whatever is more entertaining. I'm assuming most of you will enjoy the fact that I'm rambling on about random crap for quite a long time rather than a, a short period of time. Now, look at that tree. It's a very magnificent tree. I wonder like, like it was, if it grew up to be that tree, like it was always big or it was small and then it was just like, you know, one day I'm going to be a very big tree, bigger than all the other trees to make the trees very jealous of my bark size. That was, yes, it was a joke. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it makes all the other trees jealous. The other trees are just like, damn, they don't, and then they won't include them in any other tree games. And then, you know, um, what happens is on one foggy Christmas night, uh, just like Santa couldn't sell his sleigh, but the tree had a very bright red nose that allowed them to uh, guide through the sky and then Christmas was saved forever. And then Santa gave presents to all the little boys and girls and they also gave him the furry because furry doesn't classify as a boy or a girl. Furry is an it. Continuing. I say continuing on. We should shut up about that. Oh, well, my tiredness is about to set in because I've been attempting to record this for the past forever and uh, it's 10.30 right now and thank goodness this is actually going to work out because I love this game. This is my favorite map. I've said it a million times. Favorite, favorite, favorite map. Mostly because it was one of the originals. Second of all, because my route on it used to be over overpowered, but they screwed up the tiers, and that sucks now. Uh, someone uh, commented on my videos saying, do they change the tiers once a month? Uh, not that I know of. The tiers always stay the same. It's just uh, they changed the tiers because they had to reintroduce uh, maps into the plugin and something was wrong with it, but they did that. So, death match in 60 seconds. How are we going to prepare ourselves? Um, 
Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put the end of pearl there, right? We're going to put the end of pearl there. That, no, we're going to have it like this. All right, put that all there. All right. How many arrows I have right there? I'm just coughing quick. <coughs> I'm be coughing a lot in this video. I'm sorry. Can't do anything about it. My bad. Put tons of flint and steels down, and we are ready for battle. That's actually a strangely ordered inventory, but I want to be able to, you know, hit hotkeys with my mouse, like, bam, or, like, bam, you know, things like that. Uh, 30 seconds until deathmatch. I wonder if these people are stacked or if they have full leather armor. Both ways, I am going to try my best to win. Off the fine cape, swaying in the wind, just like, whoosh, yay. Oh, I'm going to play third person. Now third person mode sucks. All right, let's go. Whoops, I accidentally did that. All right, one second till deathmatch, and what do they have? Oh, look, they have actually... A couple of them are quite a bit of stuff. This is going to be quite entertaining to do. Cough again. <coughs> All right, let's do this. Kill these people. All right, um, we got to kill Hybrid first because he's the biggest threat. He doesn't even know what's going on, so I'm just finish you off really quick. And I can't kill you because apparently the server likes to lag. Come on. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Ha, he got caught on the fire. That was invisible. Thanks, Hefe, for putting that there. Come on, just die. I know you, you like to freeze every once in a while game, but now is not a good time. I've been attempting to win for forever come on just get there we go just just a couple times with an arrow we should do it maybe right there you'll die nope maybe right there nope i can't lead arrows apparently uh i know quite, quite a few people who can't lead arrows i'm somewhat good at it and just just die just please die just you're right there you're low on hearts just just you yeah, there we go you're dead All right finish you off double kill and here we go for the triple kill which will happen and Lindsay bug is just gonna die just you know just just just, 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 just far i just die yeah, uh, hit you with the arrow. Hit the arrow. Oh my goodness, now you're gonna die! Oh, wait, no, I'm not gonna die. There we go. Exploded. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MCSG with Tom Hawks. Once again, sorry for my sickness. Thumbnails are amazing, and have a nice day, please. Bruh.